In an era where global politics often resembles a high-stakes chess game, the European Union's latest move sanctioning companies from China and India for their alleged involvement in supporting Russia's military endeavors has sent shockwaves through the corridors of power worldwide. This bold maneuver has ignited a firestorm of controversy, challenging the very foundations of international diplomacy and economic interdependence. Critics argue that this decision marks a dangerous escalation in global tensions, a brazen affront to the principles of sovereignty and a potential catalyst for economic upheaval. At the heart of this tempest lies a fundamental question, can the pursuit of peace justify the economic strangulation of nations and companies caught in the geopolitical crossfire? The E.U.'s actions have laid bare the precarious balance between moral imperatives and the ruthless realities of power politics. This strategy, seen by some as a desperate attempt to isolate and weaken Russia, risks alienating in key global players and fracturing the world economy even further. The backlash has been swift and fierce, with accusations of hypocrisy and short-sightedness leveled at Brussels from capitals across the globe. Yet beneath the surface of this international uproar, a deeper narrative unfolds one of a world at a crossroads, grappling with the complexities of justice, sovereignty, and the quest for a lasting peace as we delve into the intricate web of sanctions, diplomatic tensions, and the relentless pursuit of military advantage, we invite you to join us on a journey through the murky waters of contemporary geopolitics, prepared to be challenged, provoked, and possibly enraged. As we explore the ramifications of the E.U.'s controversial stance, the stakes could not be higher, but and the consequences more profound, stay with us till the end, as we navigate through this unfolding drama that tests the limits of international solidarity and the enduring quest for a world order grounded in respect, cooperation and peace. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. The European Union EU has initiated a groundbreaking set of sanctions, marking a significant escalation in its efforts to address the ongoing conflict instigated by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. For the first time, the sanctions extend beyond the usual scope to include companies based in China and India, accusing them of aiding Moscow's military endeavors. This strategic move underscores a robust international effort to tighten the noose around Russia's war capabilities. Reflecting a concerted attempt to thwart the Kremlin's efforts to circumvent existing sanctions through third-party countries and indirect channels, at the heart of this initiative is the European Commission's commitment to eroding the machinery that sustains Vladimir Putin's war efforts. Ursula von der Leyen, the Commission's president, articulated the dual objectives of these sanctions to dismantle Russia's access to crucial military equipment, such as drones, and to maintain unwavering pressure on the Kremlin. This stance is emblematic of the E.U.'s broader strategy to confront aggression with unwavering resolve, aiming to disrupt Russia's military and industrial complex through targeted economic measures. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below, YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. The sanctions, which encompass nearly 200 individuals and entities, signal a tactical shift in the E.U.'s approach, moving away from broad economic penalties towards more focused actions that directly impact the entities facilitating Russia's military operations, but this nuanced strategy reflects an acknowledgement of the challenges inherent in imposing sweeping sanctions, particularly when balancing the diplomatic sensitivities of engaging with global powers like China. The decision to include companies from China and India in the sanctions list emerged against a backdrop of increasing evidence of these entities' involvement in supplying Russia with essential components used in weaponry and military equipment. This move, albeit controversial, highlights the E.U.'s determination to close loopholes in the existing sanctions framework, which Russia has exploited to sustain its war effort. The targeted restrictions on trade are designed to sever the supply chains that enable Russia to continue its military operations against Ukraine, showcasing a strategic pivot towards disrupting the technological and material foundations of Russia's war capabilities. 
The implications of these sanctions extend beyond the immediate economic impact on the targeted companies, they represent a recalibration of international relations, when signaling a willingness among EU member states and their G7 partners to confront the complex web of global commerce that indirectly supports military aggression, this collective action, forged in the crucible of geopolitical tension, that underscores a shared commitment to upholding international norms and preserving peace, moreover, the sanctions illuminate the intricate dynamics of international diplomacy, where economic measures are wielded as instruments of policy to achieve broader strategic objectives. The, the careful calibration of these sanctions, balancing the imperative to cripple Russia's military-industrial complex against the potential repercussions of straining relations with pivotal global actors like China and India, but, reflects the nuanced challenges facing policymakers in today's interconnected world. In essence, the E.U. sanctions against China and India represent a bold step in the international community's ongoing efforts to respond to Russia's aggression by targeting the economic lifelines that facilitate Russia's military endeavors. The EU aims to fortify the barriers against further escalation, striving to restore stability and peace in a region shadowed by conflict. This approach, rooted in a strategic vision that integrates economic sanctions with diplomatic engagement, offers a template for navigating the complex terrain of global politics, where the imperatives of security and cooperation must be balanced with precision and foresight. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. As this narrative unfolds, the broader implications of the E.U.'s decision to sanction entities from China and India for their alleged support of Russia's military actions come into sharper focus. This move is not merely about penalizing companies. It's a declaration of the E.U. stance on global governance and its commitment to safeguarding international peace and security by extending sanctions to include these countries. The EU is navigating the delicate balance of diplomatic relations while asserting its role as a defender of international law and norms. The integration of Chinese and Indian companies into the sanctions regime represents a pivotal moment in international diplomacy. Reflecting a growing consensus among Western allies on the necessity of a united front against the mechanisms that enable conflict, this strategy is indicative of a larger trend towards multilateralism, where global challenges necessitate collective action. The E.U.'s measures, therefore, are not just punitive but also a call to action for the international community to reassess and strengthen the frameworks that govern international conduct. The sanctions also highlight the intricate web of global trade and its potential implications for international security by targeting the supply chains that facilitate the production of military equipment. The EU is addressing the complex interdependencies that characterize the modern global economy. This approach underscores the need for a comprehensive understanding of how economic activities, from the manufacturing of microchips to the trade in electronics, can inadvertently support militarization and conflict. Moreover, the decision to impose sanctions on companies within countries like China and India both of which hold significant geopolitical weight signals a readiness to confront difficult truths about the global economy's role in sustaining conflicts. It acknowledges that the path to peace is fraught with economic sacrifices and requires a willingness to engage in difficult conversations about the cost of stability and the value of human life. Sanctions within the E.U.'s broader strategy to combat Russia's aggression also reflects an evolution in the understanding of warfare and peacekeeping in the 21st century, as the lines between economic power and military strength become increasingly blurred. The tools to combat aggression must also evolve, the E.U.'s actions thus represent a nuanced approach to peacekeeping, one that recognizes the multifaceted nature of modern warfare and the need for equally multifaceted solutions. Sanctions are more than just a response to the immediate crisis in Ukraine, they are a testament to the changing landscape of international relations, where economic measures can serve as both a shield and a sword in the pursuit of peace. This shift towards a more integrated approach to security, which combines economic, diplomatic and military tools, is indicative of a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of global challenges and the necessity for collective, innovative solutions. As the EU and its partners continue to navigate the complexities of enforcing these sanctions, the global community watches closely, 
The outcomes of these measures will not only influence the immediate situation in Ukraine, but also set precedents for how global powers address conflicts and uphold international law in the future. The resolve and unity displayed by the EU and its allies in this endeavor are a beacon of hope for a world striving for peace amidst the shadows of war, signaling a commitment to a future where justice and stability are secured through cooperation, dialogue, and a shared commitment to the common good. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now and I will see you on the other side.